shed is quite active right now. This red light on my head mustn't be completely red. They're firing at my face. So this is in the middle of the shed. Lots of bearding. Oh, stop it. How do I stop it? So this is 1,600 parts per million CO2. So that's why it's screaming at me, because it's over 1,000. And the temperature in the middle of the shed is 10. 33% humidity. That's why my girls are bearding here. Oh, quiet. The module on the wall says five. So it's time to quieten down the shed a little bit more. I'm gonna have to get more air circulation down the aisles. These hives are kicking out the heat. Just about 11 degrees there. Having trouble sweeping the shed because, well, as you can see, I'm being bombarded. So the first thing I'm going to do is, yeah, so as I walk to the outside of the shed, now it's eight. Let's go over to where my fans are. Where my module is set at five. It's actually set lower than that, but I'm just reading five right now. And my temperature is dropping oh, to about seven here, so maybe that's off a bit. I'm gonna get another device in here just to verify the actual temperature. So this one might not be calibrated properly. Looking at about eight degrees on the outside of the wall here. So I'm just gonna bump this up a little bit more. So both fans are going now. Yeah, that's an eight. Quite mild, three degrees. So I brought in a verification. On the wall here, it's reading 8.7. So my other monitor was correct. And within the shed, within the alley, 11.7. So it's no wonder the bees are bearding within the shed here. Just too warm. I'll run this again. Here's the monitor there. within the shed and we'll bring it out to the wall here
8.7, 8.8. So that is not right. Okay, there's eight degrees in this shed right now. Any little pockets everywhere. I'm getting cold draft. Going to have to circulate this area a little bit more aggressively, I think, to try to get the air more uniform throughout the shed. So I'm just going to step this up a little bit. I'll get these fans churning the air a little bit better. And if that doesn't work, then what I'll do is I'll get some box fans maybe and just blow down the aisles try to circulate the air a little bit more maybe help stick these bees in the boxes a little bit better